it's been a while i know but uh i've been busy in other other things i don't want to make any excuses but my cousin bought a note 10 um it's an old phone launched in august of last year but he bought it recently and he luckily invited me to his place and i shot an unboxing video and a bunch of i i got i got to know i didn't like this is the first note device that i spent more than 15 minutes with ever in my life it took me 10 notes to actually spend more than 15 minutes of my time i also shot this unboxing partly on a gopro so um i think you will enjoy and let me know maybe if it feels different but i'll Now the last video which is also an unboxing video that I did was of the iPhone 11 Pro Max and in that video I didn't really go over the accessories because they were pretty boring this time it's not it's these are actually really high end accessories much I mean AKG headphones fast charger as always the 11 Pro had it for the first time and a tweezer which I didn't really know the purpose of until I just googled before shooting this video it's actually to remove or change the tips of the S Pen which is exclusive to note The first time I I actually held it in my hand it felt really lightweight it was like I I I haven't picked a phone that light in a while I mean I use an iPhone 7 it's a pretty lightweight phone but it's also very tiny and com when compared to the Note and this is a smaller Note 10 in case you didn't already know The second thing that I noticed was all the buttons are on the left side of the phone. There's absolutely nothing on the right side. It's completely blank, glossy. It's actually the opposite of the Pixel 3. But this time it's actually convenient because my cousin is a lefty. So if he puts his phone, which he does, in his left pocket, and he pulls it out, he has his left thumb on the power button, and the right thumb goes and pulls out the S Pen. So it's extremely convenient, especially for for people who use the left hand for who are lefties basically now the design which is basically the display with a punch hole camera was my first impression because obviously and it just makes it just it's just beautiful it just makes the entire phone the most unique and the most different looking phone of all the phones available in the market right now there's something about the symmetry there's something about that punch hole camera being center aligned at the top that just makes it less cluttered and the display more expansive also the camera itself the front camera itself is really tiny so i guess that helps okay now the s pen so i don't know how many people will use it i don't know if even my cousin would use it as much but it's pretty cool i didn't get to spend much time with it but the one thing that i that just blew me away it's that when you pull it out and you start writing it all automatically turns into a notepad as soon as you pull it out it creates this sound that resembles the actual sound of a pen writing on a paper is more dramatized obviously but Now it's not an actual sound that is produced by the friction caused between the S Pen's tip 
and the display it's actually emulated by the speaker it's like a fake dis diffuser in a sports car but um, i actually enjoyed this one i didn't expect it there is a little bit of a latency issue when you hit the pen on the screen and the sound starts coming off but for the most part it's it's still really fun because i didn't expect it and it just blew me away Okay, so now the last few things that I got to talk about are the camera and the software. Now, both of which I'm actually not very interested in, that's why they were the last. The camera is, like it's one of the best, we already know that. I don't really use my phone's camera that much, so I'm not really interested in the, in the cameras. But it's got three lenses, so wide lens is pretty convenient sometimes, actually a lot of times. But let's move on to the software. software it's still Samsung, so large icons, you can reduce the size, I hope so, but <laughs> nothing beats stock Android. Actually, not even stock Android, stock Android is pretty boring. Oxygen OS, that's what I like. That's the best form of Android in my opinion, Oxygen OS, but it's fine. You can install the ROM, you can do whatever you want, you can customize it, it's Android. But that's the Note, that's the Note 10. This is a super, this was a super quick video, just like the previous one, uh, Note 10 unboxing in February of 2020 because why not now i know since the beginning of this video you have been feeling like this is a completely different environment setup because it is we have moved now this is the room that you'll see me in every time i film a video and upload it to youtube i also know that you feel like i'm not the most consistent which is completely true because i got the things running in the background but i think we both know that i'll keep coming back